So we know how important events are. Some of you guys may have had similar challenges. Could be people in here that have six people in a room or something, right? I knew there was only one person in our downline at that event. And we, but we went. And we started to make some money from that. It got us back in the industry. And we got it up to a few thousand dollars a month. It was a good thing. Yeah. Now I have this. I went without a car for two years. After she got her wrap, I couldn't figure out what it is to, that I wanted, right? And uh, so I, I said, I'm the only six-figure income earner in network marketing doesn't even have a car. And, <laughs> and so I finally got this Infinity that actually almost drives itself. I went down to Portland the other day. I went 90 miles without hitting the gas or the brake. <laughs> it's got this sensor, you know, that that that... You put the speed on for the cruise, and it slows down. If the car slows down, and if he changes lanes, then the car speeds up. You just kind of drive in like this. It's pretty cool. Yeah. We paid, we wrote a check for it, too. Now, that's really cool. Lots of people have fancy cars. Few people write checks. Do you think this one's true? Would you like to see a demonstration of this? Let me take you on a little journey, because, you know, Change people's lives. You know, it sounds kind of airy-fairy, doesn't it, right? You know, do you know that there's that you have touched people, you have an infl influence on people here that you have never heard of before, that you don't even know that it's existed? Everybody here has. In fact, even the people that you approach with this juice that said no may have been changed from the experience. You might have opened a crack in their mind that might change their life. And in most things in life, I believe we're all in here to make the world a better place. And I think most people in this room really have that dream and that vision of making the world a better place. But there's few things that you can do in life where you can actually see it witness before your eyes. Now, it's one thing to share the juice with somebody and see them get a great result or somebody become a premier. It's another thing to see how that possibility can play out as we go down different generations in our downline. That's our friends, John and Laurel Shaw. They're from the other side of the hill. Remember the guy that said he thinks I'm, we're successful because we know how to focus? When we first met them, he was doing home care, and he would drive, like, for three hours and then do three days of 24-7 home care, you know, and then he would drive back. And I just had this idea, maybe he'd like not to do that anymore. And so I thought about what was in it for him. I approached John based on how would you like to stay home? I've got something I think you could do from home and stay off that freeway, right? And so we got him involved in the business. As soon as I got him interested in the business, we ran over with a bottle of juice. We shared it with him. They got great results on the juice. They decided to do it as a business. One day, the UPS driver rolled up in front of their house. It was a substitute driver, not the normal driver. And John, you know, delivering this juice, right? How many guys have UPS drivers come to their house? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And, like, what's in this juice? Oh, and he started telling him, oh, you know, it's this and it's that. He says, by the way, do you know anybody that has pain? He says, yeah, my wife. She had this incredible accident a couple of years ago. She has phenomenal pain in her body. He says, here, take a bottle and take some literature and let's see what happens with it. And his wife's name was Robin. And Robin's a realtor in town. And she had tremendous pain. She's also very left brain. She had to do all of her study and science and research on this. About two weeks later, she calls up and orders two cases of juice. Gets incredible results with the pain in her neck. In phenomenal results. Start feeling better. Thinks of her friend Barb. Calls up, Barb, listen, you've got to get some of this juice. I'm going to get you a bottle of this. I want you to try it out. And if you like it, we'll get you on this stuff. You've got to get it wholesale. It's done an incredible job on my neck. Barb has pain in her hand. She starts to feel better. Not only that, she has a father who has cancer, who is terminal, that no longer wants to live any longer, that is so depressed he doesn't even want to live. And he starts to feel better and gains some feeling of satisfaction, and Barb is, like, moved. She thinks, you know, this is such an incredible thing. I'm going to start sharing this with a bunch of people, and I'm going to build this into a business. She decides one day that she's going to do some what I call cold marketing. You know, I go into this on Sunday. The cold market is people you don't know. You've got to advertise for those people. She got into Andy Willoughby's radio co-op. Really, about the only good lead program I'd ever even 
hesitate, uh, even suggest getting involved in. And she starts, and she gets a call from a lady in Kentucky. And this lady was looking for a home business. What Barb didn't know is Linda had a daughter named Megan. And Megan hadn't been to school in a year and a half. She has something like fibromyalgia and a lot of pain in her body. Imagine the, at the age of 14 having so much pain you couldn't even attend school. And do you remember Terry doing all of that follow-up work? Well, she got on the phone with Megan, and we started to tweak how much she should be taking. You know, is she taking enough or too much? And working out, helping her to the point where that September, which is like a year, two years ago, she went to school for the first time in two years after being on this juice. Isn't that powerful? Well, anyway, we were going to Detroit, Michigan to do a training up there for Dr. Tutla and some of the other folks up in Michigan, Joel and those folks. And they drove, the family so badly wanted to meet the juice lady over here that they drove all the way from Kentucky to Michigan, the whole family, to meet us and to just say hello and thank you for changing lives. Isn't that an amazing story? Now, look at all the decisions that were made here for this to happen. We decided, you know, to act on that fax that we got and turn this into a business. And we shared it with our friends who shared it with the UPS driver who got it for his wife who talked to Barb to help Megan, whose mom was looking for a business on the other side of the country. Yeah, lives change in this. You guys have all done this and you don't even know about it. Think how many times that's happening in Zango. Lives are being changed because of the decision that you make, you see? It all starts with your decision. Remember we began with that? Have you really decided? You see, what if any one of these persons here had not made the decision? That whole sequence of events would have been ended. That's why when you think about somebody in connection with this product and juice, act on it. Do you know they might be praying for something and it comes into your head and you don't pick up the phone and call them and they could be just asking for something to come into their life like this, product or business, if you think about them, act on it. And to close off, I'm just going to show this thing here. Man, we did this pretty good, didn't we? I did this in Louisville. That's what's got the regional there. This is Gandhi's quote. Can you read it back there? What does it say? Read it to me. How many people want the world to change? Don't you think we can make this a better place? Yes. Don't you think so? I will tell you something. I read this book about you must be the change you wish to see in the world. You must be it. If you want a change in the world, you've got to be it, right? If you, how many people here would like a more loving world? Well, then you've got to be more loving. You can't wait for it out someplace else. How many people would like a more abundant world? Well, let's be more abundant, right? You know, you can't say you want a more loving world and then get angry at people on the freeway, right? Oh, I want a more loving world. I hate that war in Iraq and some guy cuts you off and you're ready to pull out a shotgun or something. You know what I'm saying? You see? Bless him on his journey, right? Bless him. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for giving me a chance to respond in kindness instead of anger.